The 1920s saw a resurgence of the Ku Klux Klan, an organization that had once been prominent in the years following the Civil War. Why was there a sudden rise in Klan membership? What happened to the Klan? In 1915, a silent film titled Birth of a Nation was released and became very popular. This movie glorified the original Ku Klux Klan. As a result, William J. Simmons founded a new clan, adopting many of the same costumes and symbols displayed in the film. The KKK remained a remotely small and local organization until the 1920s. However, the group found many opportunities for growth in exploiting the anti-immigration sentiments of the era, as well as anti-Catholic feelings and fears of communist and anarchist. The Klan became very popular in rapidly growing cities such as Detroit, Memphis, Atlanta, and Dallas. In these communities, many white Americans were concerned with the rapidly changing nature of their city's culture, as well as the competition they were receiving in the job market from European immigrants. Throughout the early half of the 1920s, the Klan became increasingly powerful in the Midwest. Indiana had the largest Klan membership in the nation, with more than 250,000 members. Throughout the nation, it is estimated that there were 6 million Klan members by 1924. As the Klan gained more members, they continued to gain political influence as well. Candidates who were sympathetic with the Klan won elections at local and state levels. Indiana even elected a governor who was a Klan member. In some respects, local Klan organizations operated very much like fraternal orders or social clubs. They participated in city parades and held get-togethers or rallies which featured a speaker of some kind. They even had women's auxiliary groups just as other organizations did. However, the Klan preached a message of hate and distrust. They carried out acts of violence against African Americans, European immigrants, Catholics, and communists. Beatings, floggings, and even hangings were not uncommon activities committed by Klan members throughout the nation. Klan membership rapidly declined in the latter half of the 1920s due to several scandals that plagued the organization's leadership. D.C. Stevenson, one of the Klan's primary leaders, was convicted of murder, while another leader was arrested for a violent attack on a young woman. Also, several publications had begun publishing lists of Klan membership roles. Many people had no desire to be associated with the Klan and the violent tactics they were using. By 1930, Klan membership had reduced to a mere 30,000. 